Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for this video because not many times can we find a way to pull off such a vibrant and daring color and actually find a way to wear it during the day. Usually when we find like this vibrant color, whether it's a bright blue, whether it's a bright purple, um, yellow, neon green, which are all colors that are really in style right now, they can be very scary and the approach to trying to find a way to wear that color can be quite difficult. So if you're excited and you want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. So I went ahead and did my face. I always do my face on camera, so for this video I thought just be smarter and faster to do it off camera since I always show you guys my process and nothing has really changed. So I'm going to start with my Fenty bronzer. This one is an island thing. It's just a really pretty bronzy color and I'm just picking it up on a MAC 220 brush. So I'm just going to start carving out like this round shape a little higher than where my crease folds to give the illusion of rounder and bigger eyes. So I feel like when I tilt my head a little bit back and I look into the mirror, it really helps me see the shape a lot better. So at this point, I'm just doing like little windshield motions just to kind of buff out the line. I want it to be carved out, but not too defined because I'm actually gonna start warming this up with a different color in a minute. So I'm just kind of going back and forth. So now that I have the eyes carved out, I'm going to start warming up that color with a color from the Desi and Katie Frontation palette. I think I'm gonna use the color um, Churro. So I'm picking up that color on a denser brush. This one is the Morphe M433, just because this brush is gonna help me have a little bit more precision, precision with this dark brown. Um, we're just going to be focusing actually on the, on the actual crease. So this brush is gonna help that color stay right where I want it and not have it be so diffused. So I'm just buffing that out right in the corner, not moving too much. And then once that color is blended, how I'll blend it enough, I'm going to start buffing it in so that it fades into the inner, kind of like the middle portion of the eye. So that is pretty blended. I'm actually going to just do a little bit more blending the outer corner just buffing that color out so now that we've deepened up that outer corner that outer crease um, I'm going to start building up some color so that we can start working to the fun bright fuchsia pink so I'm actually going to be dipping into this very area Anastasia palette I'm going to place the peachy right on the crease it's actually more pink on the lid than um, than peachy so instead of focusing this color just on the outer corner, we are actually going to go all around the eye. And I love this brush, this BH number six brush, because it really lets me, again, be precise with it, because um, it's kind of dense, doesn't have a lot of movement. So it's really allowing me to create this circular round eye that I want. So then next, dipping into Monte Carlo. Same brush, but sticking a little bit lower so that it's barely poking out at the top. So now for the fun part, I feel like this primer really helped my eyeshadow yesterday stay on and look as bright as it can and as it could. So I'm going to be using the NYX glitter primer. Um, even though this eyeshadow has no glitter in it, I feel like it really just was tacky enough to keep the color on without it smearing so much so i just always put a little bit on the back of my hand and then i just place it on my lid the fun color from the Viriera palette palette from the anastasia beverly hills this is the color bahamas it is our star of the day i'm just patting it on tapping off the axis And I'm just going to be gently patting this color on. Just 
I love how the camera is actually doing this color justice. It's so bright and pretty. And I feel like the camera is capturing the exact color of it, which makes me super happy because sometimes the camera has trouble capturing a color's true essence. So now that I have just tapping off everything, I'm just going to gently run the tip of the brush, like this front part, along side of the actual shape of it. Just kind of help blend that out in case it hasn't. And I'm just being super careful with it. Oh my god. Let's take a moment. Let's take a moment. Let's take a moment. This is so pretty. This is honestly the prettiest color I've ever used on my eyelids. I'm obsessed. Like, what? Oh my god. Like, you could seriously stop right here. Just put mascara on your natural lashes. And this color would, like, be a showstopper. Like, for anything and everything. Just saying. But moving on because I did want to make it a little more fun. I am going to show you guys something I did yesterday that I really, really wanted to do today again. So I took a color from the Morphe palette. This is the 3502 Second Nature. And I took this really fun. Let me see so you guys can see that. Look at this color. Hold on. It's not even doing it justice. Ready? And it's like shimmery. Right? Okay. Tap. This on the very center of my eyes. So now that I have this popped into the center, just to make sure that it looks like it's actually like blended and intentional, I am going to pick up the, some more of the pink and I'm just going to tap it on the actual sides of the orange. To kind of help blend that little. Okay, so a little close up. So fun, I love it. It looks so edgy, so editorial. Um, so the next thing that I want to do is that I'm totally skipping the pink or any bright colors under my eyes, but I don't want to leave them completely bare. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the dose of colors and I'm just going to take a very soft brown, which is almost like, can't even show you guys because it's so broken, but I'm taking this brown with a little bit of the churro color and I'm going to do that on the, under my eyes. Um, and I'm taking this on a Morphe M165. So then really quickly, I'm going to crisp up these edges, but I'm not going to use any concealer. I'm just going to use the same brush that I used earlier on my eyebrows and just clean up the line right here so that there's no pink. So next, what you want to do is just pop on some of your favorite mascara. Um, mine is always the telescopic. I haven't found a dupe that works and is still as cheap. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my eyelashes before I pop on some falsies. So next, I want to pop on some beautiful fluffy eyelashes to complete this look. I'm going to be using the lily lashes in the style miami and these are actually the miami light from the so for lips i actually want to test out this new lipstick it's called kind of sexy by mac mm. i'll keep it but let me just go in really quickly with my favorite lip liner of all time this is the mac stripped down So I think, I mean, I just have to, I have to, if you've been following along, you know, you know the deal already. My favorite lip glosses are by Fenty Beauty and I think I want to keep 
I'm usually a gloss girl, so for me to leave my lips matte, mm, I don't know. Let's just try a little bit. I'm gonna try the one called Fussy, which is like a little lighter pink. All right, guys, so I really hope that this makeup look was super easy to follow. Um, like I said in my intro, this bright color can sometimes be a little bit scary. And I'm sure when you look at a palette like the Verriera palette from the Anastasia Beverly Hills, you have all these beautiful summer colors and the palette itself just screams a summer night. As you guys can see by the color choices and how I actually place them is that it's minimal. You want the color to be the focus so nothing is competing with it. I hope that you guys really enjoy this easy to follow tutorial, especially with it just being focused on the eyes. So with that being said, for more videos, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel and that you do hit that bell notification because that way you're always notified every single time I upload a new video. It's just a simpler way to join the family and join the journey. So please make sure that you do that before you go. And until next time, I love you guys so much.